you know, I love seeing the Breaking Bad cameos. So who has been your favorite when you're looking at the call sheet? Who has been a fun cameo to have from from that world? Who's been your favorite person to reunite with? Well, I didn't get to talk. I didn't get to do a scene with them, except, you know, when it was edited together. But, you know, uh, Robert Forrester uh, oh. who passed away, shot his side of our phone conversation which was, I believe, in two episodes... It was in the first episode of the season. Uh, uh, he shot that during um, El Camino, the movie that Vince Gilligan directed, uh, the Breaking Bad movie. Um, and he shot his side of the conversation months before we went and shot Better Call Saul. And I did get to work with him on uh, Breaking Bad. And he was uh, one of the great people in, that I've ever met in show business. He was an incredibly sweet person um, who genuinely loved show business and loved acting and was uh, so thankful and happy every day on the set and so so uh, warm and, and great and a great presence on screen too. So I'm going to give it to him and we have more to come. So I know. I'm done. excited. Anybody you can tease for us? Uh, no, I, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm surprised, just like you fans. I get surprised by the people they that appear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we were talking earlier too, just about evolving um, Jimmy to Saul to Cinnabon Jean. Um, and getting to play with that and drawing on your experience as an improv actor. You know, what's, what's, what's so special about evolving this character across now two shows? Um, well, we were very lucky because in Breaking Bad, you really only saw Saul Goodman at his job. You never saw him at home. And so we have a lot of freedom to create who he is when, you, when he's not uh, at that office pretending to be Saul Goodman. Um, so a lot of people think that there's a struggle there to uh, justify that character, but the truth is there's really only one line in Breaking Bad that doesn't, so far I don't understand, but everything else about Saul in Breaking Bad was a kind of presentation and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't clash with Jimmy McGill because we never... We never saw him off screen. And in fact, there are moments in um, Breaking Bad where um, Saul shows a bit of a humanity to him that, that we recognize from Jimmy McGill. There's a moment where he tells um, um, Jesse to go see Brock. Do you remember this? He insists that Jesse go uh, to see Angela and Brock. Uh and he really shouldn't do that. He, he, there's no reason to do that except human feeling. And so yeah. Saul shows it there. And he, there's a moment where he tells Walter White to quit while he's ahead, which yeah. also doesn't really serve. Uh, it doesn't serve um, Saul to do that. But uh, you see a different side of him just one or two times in Breaking Bad that, that really um, fits with who we know as uh um, Jimmy McGill. The one thing that doesn't fit yet um, is when uh, his uh, assistant is walking away from him in the first scene and he makes some wisecrack about wanting to grab her ass or something. I remember this and it's funny that you bring that up because I did go back as a fan to watch the first episode that um that Saul Goodman is in and you really see how they were kind of working out the kinks of that character and how he has had so much depth since, I think. What, why would he do that? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's with uh, Kim. Right. I, I assume like all the fans, I assume he's not. Um, but I might be wrong. I mean, they maybe have some understanding um, or maybe something happened to Kim. I don't know. Uh, but um, that that moment with uh, his assistant doesn't make any sense to me. We'll see. Yeah, we, we definitely will see. Um, 
and and someone had brought up in the comments earlier you know we don't see kim in breaking bad which kind of leads a lot of us fans to think something bad happened so so i agree i don't know i just agree with you that that's possibly what happened hmm got it got it i guess we'll just have to see how the the story believe me i don't know we're only gonna do one more season and a lot of questions to be answered in it so it'll be full of uh, amazing stuff but i will tell you something else this season season five that we just watched episode five of just goes faster and faster from here on out it, it's insane i'm excited to see it how is that for you knowing that you're going to only have one more season i can't wait i mean look like you guys uh it takes a long time between seasons they take their time writing thinking every moment through but it's a long time um i'm 57 i started doing this character when i was 46 wow uh i'm gonna i need to finish this because i'm not going to be within the top age frame of the character of course i can play gene because he's older and he's actually in such a bad place i don't like he feels like a really old dude but uh uh you know, we need to wrap this story up for a lot of reasons, and, uh, and there's a lot of questions to be answered. So I'm, I'm excited about that final season, and I uh, wish the writers luck with answering all the many questions that there will be. Uh, what happened to Kim? Uh, what happened between Saul and his assistants? How did he learn <laughs> Spanish? How did he learn Spanish? Good he point. Yeah, I don't know. I have so far he hasn't spoken Spanish. It better call Saul. <laughs> 